He's a master. It's incredible to work with him, and he's, and he's excited, and he comes in every morning, this is true, excited about it. In fact, I was with Sue today, and, and she was doing my makeup, and he came in, isn't this a great day? Isn't this exciting? This is exciting stuff. Now look, here's what we're going to do. And I thought, oh my, and it just is, it, every day it's that way. It never lets up. The other thing Dustin is big on is research, something not so close to Renee's heart. Dustin sent me a hundred books on the subject, <laughs> and I thought, oh my God, and this is before I met him. Here are these books, truckloads of books are coming to my home. Now, I'm a high school dropout. I don't like to read. Here, they're coming, they're coming. I at least read these sort of things, you know, medical detective books. And I thought, oh my God, here comes another book. Renee made headlines earlier this year when she supposedly had the role as Batman's girlfriend in the new Batman movie. But when Michael Keaton dropped out of the part and the younger Val Kilmer took on the Bat Cape, Renee was cut loose and director Joel Schumacher hired Nicole Kidman instead. We've heard all this stuff about um, Batman Forever. Can you tell us what, what happened? Yeah, those things are unbelievable. Well, you know, maybe I'll never know. Who knows? Maybe it's true. Maybe they thought I was too old for the part. I think it's ridiculous, personally. <laughs> um, what happened, what I heard was, and I was talking to Joe Schumacher, so I assume that, you know, I know, uh, is that this movie isn't, we're shooting Outbreak and it doesn't st end until December 15th. Mm -hmm. So Batman started in September, so the schedule's conflicted. But I noticed that there was a lot of press saying that I was too old to yeah. play opposite Val Kilmer. What do you guys think? Yeah. I mean, really. What do you think? stupid? That's nuts. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think Renee could handle Batman, Dustin Hoffman, or anybody she sets her mind to. Renee also has to fit being a new mom into her movie-making schedule. On location in Los Angeles, she tries to get home for at least an hour each night to rock her one-year-old daughter Rose to sleep. Outbreak is due out next year.